Hello everybody. Um, welcome to a short and quick tutorial on ADI SIM RF. For those of you who are new to the software, ADI SIM RF is a new signal chain calculator which allows system engineers and system designers to do cascaded gain, noise figure, input IP3, as well as power consumption kind of analysis for um, their intended architectures. So once you download and install ADI SIM RF, and once you launch it, this is where it will take you, the default stage. As you can see, you are in transmit mode with 10 stages. In our case, as we go through an example, let's break this down to three stages. And uh, we can toggle between transmit. If you click on this, it'll go to receive. The difference being input referred or output referred. And what this basically allows you to do is if in my case I am doing a receiver which has an LNA front end, I would choose a device as an amplifier. And then I can either choose one of many ADI products or create my own temp product and fill in the following details here. But if I were to use an ADI product, I can go to the selection guide, click on amplifiers, this will give me a whole host of options on the kind of amplifiers which I can use. In my case, I want a 5 volt low noise amplifier, so this is what I am looking for, the ADL 5521. So I can go back here, choose that from the pull down menu, put in a frequency at which I am working at, and once I hit enter, all the required specs are filled in that column. As I go on and add a second stage, say a mixer, I can again go to the selection guide and go to mixers and choose one of the many mixers. In my case, I'd be interested to use a newer ADL 5802, which is a broadband mixer. And again at 1900 megahertz. Once I hit that, my cascade and analysis at the bottom gets updated with a stage one and two. Once I down convert from say 1900 to 900 megahertz, I want to go into a IQ demodulator. I can choose that, again go to my selection table, and in my case the 900 megahertz, I could go with the 5382 demodulator and choose that at 900 megahertz. So what this basically allows you to do is show, allows you to see a total system analysis with power consumption here in the bottom. If the input power to my initial stage, say minus 50 dBm, my numbers get updated accordingly. Over here on the top, apart from the selection guide earlier, we had seen we can toggle between transmit and receive mode. Here, I have the option to insert a stage if I so feel that I will add an extra stage. Let's say we want to add a filter between stages two and three. We can add that, and we have a new stage there. And say we do a low pass filter, part number, there is no part number in this case. We just do 900, 50, and the typical specs for a low pass filter would go in. You can tweak this as you wish, as you see suitable. Say we have an insertion loss of say 2 dB, and a noise figure accordingly of 2 dB. My analysis gets updated accordingly. Later, if I see that I want to stick with three stages, I can go back and remove a stage and go back to the three stages that I had. So this, in essence, covers um, the signal chain. Here in the file menu, you have the option to save a specific signal chain that you create and later open it up. That way, you don't have to go through this again and again. And you can create any number of signal chains in this way. Um, and on the top here, apart from amplifiers and mixers, there are a whole host of other products which we keep updating as products get released. If I click on VGAs, we have 
three VGAs here. And if I click on modulators for the transmit section, I have a whole host of modulators as well. So this in essence is ADI SIM RF. Uh, thank you for attending. Um, to get any more information and more detail on this software, you can visit www.analog.com slash ADI SIM RF.